everybody doing today? This is Uncle Chuck. I hope you're well. Where am I? I'm in one of my mining rooms here, and this miner here, the one at the end, is a gold shell KD6 miner, a Cadena miner, and I have got problems with it, unfortunately. Figures I'm filming, so now it's not going to act up. But this light over here, the power light, is going into cycling mode and ends up flashing. And then our fault light here that is actually green at this moment, about every minute or so, is flashing red. So I knew I had a problem and I went and I logged into my dashboard of the miner and sure enough, one of the hash boards is not working. So again, I'm gonna have to take it out of here and take it apart. I've already contacted Gold Shell and they want me to take the hash board out of it. There you go. That's what I'm dealing with. So let's do it already. So call this my unofficial test bench, I guess. We're set up just outside the mining room and follow the cables along the ground. And we have got a couple of remote PSU set up here with enough slack and cables to power up a couple of the miners that I have here, the ones that I'm working on right now. I decided to set up the Gold Shell KD6. This is the one with the hashboard problem. And what I thought we would do was log in to the dashboard of the miner and I'll show you guys exactly what it's doing. And at the same time, I'll show you how to get the log files out of your Gold Shell miner in case you ever have a problem. Gold Shell support will ask you for these files. So you'll be ready to go. So let's uh, head up to the computer and we'll log on in. I'm over at goldshell.com and I am gonna use Gold Shell's website to log into the dashboard of my KD6. Yes, I could use an IP scanner. I'm just gonna go in this way in case some of you have never done it this way before with your Gold Shell Miner. So I'm simply gonna click on support. I'm gonna go down to find my miner. Now, as long as your miner is connected to the same network as your computer, it's gonna show up here. You just have to click on settings and that's it. You're logged into the front end of your miner. Now you can see I've got hash rate and the miner's connected to the pool. So if I scroll down here to the bottom, you'll see that hashboard number two is populated. I've got all the information such as hash rate, temperature, but hashboard number one, there's nothing. It's not populating, so we know we have a problem. When I contacted Gold Shell, they told me that I needed to get the log information from my miner and send it to them. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Simply, you wanna scroll up to the top Go in front of your IP address in your browser of your miner and simply type debug. That's it and click on enter. Now it's gonna take you to this page here and you're gonna see all of these different columns at the top, miner history, KMS, G, system log, PS. You wanna start at the first column, you wanna click on miner history and click save. Next one over and click save and go all the way along until you get the end to chips. Now this one is a little different to save, but you can actually see, and I knew right away here that this is where I had a problem. Anyway, this is how you get your information from your miner, your log information to get to Gold Shell. They're gonna ask you for it, now you know how to do it. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna disconnect my miner, and we are gonna go to the next step and take it apart and try and get this hash board out of there. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start to take apart my KD6 and see if I can't get this hash board out of here. But before I start, I'm gonna say this. You can see the sticker here and here. These are the factory seal. If you go ahead and crack these seals, you could void your warranty on your miner. I'm going ahead and doing this because Gold Shell already gave me the thumbs up to move forward on this. All right, let's, let's start this. So I've already had a bit of an advantage here because I had a KD Max a few months ago or so that had a bad control board. So I went ahead and took that one apart, obviously with Gold Shell's approval, and took the hash board out of it, and they sent me a new one, and uh, I was able to get it installed and every back, everything back up and, and working not, not an issue at all. So we take these covers off, and this will expose right here, this is your control board, 
and the hash boards are behind here. So the next step, I am going to have to take the fans out of here. I'm gonna kind of probably speed through a little bit here because it's a bit boring uh, watching me take these fans out of here. So once you get your screws out, try and put everything to the side, all your screws together. We'll just kind of pull back the fans. Obviously we gotta, we gotta get in here. So we will keep moving forward. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like the video. It helps out a lot when I'm trying to build this channel and come up with some great new content for you guys as well. And that being said, I actually have a new miner coming very soon in the next week or so here. So I'm pretty excited about it to be able to feature it, unbox it, and get it set up to see what I think about it and see what you guys think about it as well. Okay, now we can take this piece off here. Oh, no we can't. I've got one screw left. Good job, Chuck. Okay, well that's got that. Now the next step is we're gonna take these off here so that we should be able to pull these out. All right, it looks like I might just be able to slide this out without disconnecting this. Actually, no, I can't. I'll have to go ahead and remove this. Anytime you're in here and you're removing these clips, be very, very careful. The last thing you wanna do is break any of these connectors that are connected to the, to the motherboard. Carefully slide that back. And there we go, we'll be very careful. And here we go, here's the uh, hashboard number one is where the issue was. Now we can look to see if there's any, uh, any marking whatsoever on the board or any burn marks from light inspection. Again, I don't really see anything. Obviously we've got these big heat sinks that are there, so I'm not even gonna attempt to uh, take that apart. There's no point. As I said, Gold Shell's already given me the thumbs up and an RA number to be able to return this. Now, my, I'm fortunate within actually a few weeks that my KD6 is still actually under factory warranty. So I don't actually have a cost once the hashboard gets to uh, Shenzhen. But if it was out of warranty, you're looking at the cost obviously to ship your hashboard or miner back to Shenzhen, China, and as well as the repair. So in this situation, I'm just looking at having to pay for the cost to actually get it back to Gold Shell. And they told me after that that any other cost will be incurred by them. So we'll see how that goes. So I guess that's about all we can do for now. So we are gonna get this thing packed up and shipped back to Gold Shell. And we're gonna cross our fingers that we can get this thing fixed or back in a realistic time frame. Okay, one of the things I forgot to mention after we have our miner kind of partially disassembled here is all of our spare parts. Put them in an old box or a container. You wanna keep everything together because the last thing that you want is when you get whatever it is you're sending away to be repaired to come back and you can't find all the parts to reassemble your miner. So word of advice, put all your parts in one spot. All right. Okay, so I got my hashboard packed up. It's ready to go back to Gold Shell. And actually, I thought it was going to Shenzhen, but it's going back to Singapore. So $125 later DHL and well, let's hope I get this thing back in a realistic time frame here. So I'll keep you all posted. All right, peace out.